Well, here we go then, one more time around. It's Sunderland University up against Worcester, our third of four games in the day. Difficult thing to do with just the three substitutes, but they've all come in and done well. Sunderland want a foul there. Referee says nothing doing. Now here comes Hitchcock. Goes round the outside. She's got some pace. Lovely switch back. That's James. What a block. Now then, Worcester are desperate for a penalty. Well, it looks a little harsh to me. Like he's right down by her side. But the decision has been given. It's Solly Rodriguez. Ballinger who's made the call over on the far side. And a red card shown. And Worcester leads. Oh, it's, it's bad news, good news for Sunderland University. They don't have to play short-handed. They just take the instant concession and go straight back to four on four out court. Oh, the ball. It's a great it's a chance here. Hockaday takes it in stride. And still Hockaday. And still. And a shot will come in now and blocked. And I think the free kick's going to get given here in favour of Sunderland. Conscientiously objected. Oh, and the crossbar rattled. But it was a great strike. Not to get more from it. Oh, big chance now for Grove. She's got support. And it'll fall for Rogers, and that's 2 0. Lovely finish from Holly Rogers. Was yeah. the catch Sunderland in transition. And when you're on a, a move like that, anything can happen. And it broke beautifully for Holly Rogers, and didn't she finish it well? Yeah, you see the hand up immediately from Hockaday there at the far post. There's Walklet, the player over if she gets a head up. Groves did and Rogers doesn't miss. Again, a, a great ball across from the, from the pivot. Jay Grove, uh, you know, the, again, 1v1 ability creates the, creates the opportunity. Couldn't quite get a head up herself, uh, but then it, it, it falls to Jay Grove and, and she's, she's found the perfect pass and it's a great finish. That's a lovely pass from Walkley. No foul. Wanting one there. It was Semi Hallsworth. Big chance. Massive chance for Sunderland. There's the pass and there's the goal. Lovely, lovely finish from Nicole Gandry Havery. Set up by Anna Winter, who has not stopped running all game. And well. Yeah, I think I think this, that's this might be the start of something. Yeah, I think that's deserved for Sunderland on the basis of the second half. That's a clever ball around the corner. Winter, lovely. Oh, what a good goal that is. Well, I think for me, from what I've seen so far, that's goal of the day. Um, you know, great movement, great decision, great timing on each pass. And uh, ultimately, an, an easy finish. What a magnificent goal that is from Sunderland University. Well, as we head into the final minute Stuart just to put on your radar you've got a player of the match to award in a moment might make your decision easy in a second that's Walklet for Hitchcocks and that will do it Worcester do seal the deal they have been made to work very very hard but that's a superb finish from both Kerry Walklet and then in the end by Ella Hitchcocks final nine seconds Waffen Fence is another one not quite going to be another big challenge in there from Hitchcock. And Jade Grove might get a chance to finish Watson in instead. But in the end, the result is in Worcester. Get it done. But my, they were made to work. Sunderland University putting in a really, really good shift. And giving Worcester a little bit of a scare. From 3-0 up, they were pegged back to 3-2. Then the white quality started to show. They get the job done here in the Women's Super Series North. Final score from Wolverhampton, it's Sunderland 2, Worcester 4.